Good morning. It is seven, or excuse me, six twenty-seven a.m. Uh, uh, to Suyon, Arizona time, uh, on Saturday, October thirtieth, two thousand and twenty-one. I'm Christiana Ellis, and I just got up. This is five more minutes. I did put in my contact lenses. Kind of started, excuse me, getting packed up, ready to go, because this is a uh, travel day back home uh, after an excellent trip to visit the Grand Canyon, which is very cool. And how nice of the hotel to leave one of their meeting rooms open for me today uh, to find a little quiet spot to uh, record. And look, a textured thing in the background. Yeah. Anyway, um, had a very good trip. Yesterday was a big, long day. We did lots of stuff. Um, most of it was uh, looking at the Grand Canyon from various places, which, you know, that's just what you do, right? And one of the things that I reflected on yesterday is part of the reason, like the nugget of truth beneath the joke. You know, when we say, what do you do at the Grand Canyon? Well, you look at it and you go to another place and then you look at it some more, et cetera, et cetera. I mean, the, the reason for... Like the nugget of truth under that, the reason why that is what you do is because that's partly how your brain tries to process how big it is. Because it's not one place, it's a region. And so when your brain is seeing, oh man, look at all of this, but then you travel a ways over that way, and then you look and it's still like that. That's, I think, part of what helps to sell in the brain just how big it is. Because you just keep being impressed because there just keeps being more of it. Um, it's pretty cool. So there's a couple of different... Thank you, Windows. Um, there's a couple of different... Um, what was it going to say? Oh shuttles that just go around to different locations along the south rim where we are and uh, we yesterday in the morning we started with uh, the the red route and we basically rode it out all the way to the far end of that shuttle route stopping at every overlook and uh, walking around that one for a little while and catching the next shuttle and going on and on and it again there's just so many incredible overlooks i've i've been taking tons and tons of pictures so like if you've only been noticing that I've only had like three or four that I put up on social media so far I, I have more I have more um I think what I'm going to do is when I get back home and I can look at them on my big monitor I will uh select the highlights and uh, post a gallery but uh you know it is the standard thing that's true which is you can have an impressive picture but it doesn't it's not the same uh, but uh, in any case, I will will be posting some more. But in any case, we did the whole red shuttle route. That took us pretty much most of the morning and uh, came back uh, in towards where the visitor center was and had lunch. But then we were kind of sort of thinking maybe do the geology museum and then a hike. But then we started realizing it was late enough in the day. We might not be able to do both. And we decided to do the hike instead. And... The hike that we did is going up to the South Kaibab Trailhead and mar uh, hiking down to the first kind of like point of interest, which is called Ua Point. And excuse me, the uh, kind of the, the joke that got made by the end is that uh, you, you know you, you say Ua three different ways because when you're planning this cool hike, you're like Ua, and then when you get to the point, you're like Ua. And then when you're coming back, hiking back up, you're going, ooh, uh. Anyway, uh, yeah, so uh, all things considered, uh, I talked a little bit about it in the short video that I posted yesterday. So uh, if you didn't see that and you're watching this now, check that uh, also on the YouTube channel. But uh, the, uh, so the hike is, not too crazy far um, in the grand scheme of things. It's one of the shorter hikes down into the canyon. It goes uh, something like 1.7 miles there and back, but it is also like a 640 foot 
elevation change somewhere in that neighborhood it says equivalent to 76 flights of stairs and especially right at the beginning it's very steep right at the beginning so you have lots of switchbacks coming down and uh we you know immediately upon starting to go down and down and down and recognizing every step you take down is going to be a step you have to take back up and uh, that's a little alarming so that we were a little bit trepidatious as we were going on because uh, none of us are super expert hikers not to mention the thing that uh, again I, I think I said this yesterday but I, I don't I did not in advance fully appreciate the altitude here and so there's definitely altitude issues and so we're a little worried but we did make it down to Ua Point it was amazing and we came back up and it was rough coming back up and, you know it was this sort of like you know every every two minutes or so it's like <sighs> I need to pause a second oh look it's the next shady spot to stand in <sighs> but uh but we made it and it was awesome and uh then we all came back to the hotel and took a shower and had a lazy evening in and uh, now we're packing up to leave and it was a great trip and so I'm going to leave it there because I've got to go finish getting ready and I will talk to you all tomorrow for five more minutes uh, at which point I will be back home. Talk to you all tomorrow for five more minutes. <laughs>